Welcome back on this Valentine's Day. And if your love language is quality time, how about a trip inspired by some classic romantic comedies? Here with Vacation Destinations from the films we all love is Vice President of Global PR at Virtuoso, Misty Bellis. Misty, good morning to you. Oh, good morning. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Day. To you all. This is a fun idea. So let's start with one of our favorites, a classic, My Best Friend's Wedding. Oh, that is such a fan favorite, and it really showcases Chicago so nicely. Mm, it does. Um, the best way to really enjoy this is to take in the architecture through a CAC river cruise, just mm. like they did in the movie. And their season actually starts up again next month, but the tickets go on sale this Friday, um, and then it'll run about $54 per person. Okay. Mm. okay. Now, if you are plotting to overthrow a wedding, where else do you do it? <laughs> but in your hotel room at the famous Drake Hotel. Oh, yeah, it's really classic. nice. And you can stay in this room 703, which oh. is exactly where they oh. filmed. Oh, wow. wow. The rate's going to start at 175 a night, and they have a fun Valentine special that's running through the end of the month. And then fans may remember that Kimmy's father owned the White Sox. So we also recommend mm -hmm. that you take in a White Sox game while you're there at Guaranteed Rate Field, which was in the movie. <laughs> and uh, home opener is next month, March 28th. Oh, wow. So that's you're just that that time. on date. Yeah. That would be fun. Right? Okay, so this next movie, I mean, it was the hit of the summer, earned $170 million at the box office worldwide. Anyone but you. Anyone but you. To Sydney. Absolutely. It is like a love letter to Sydney. Mm -hmm. It really just highlights that beautiful, beautiful city. And your first stop has to be, of course, the Sydney Opera House. It is iconic, and you uh, see it throughout the movie. You can do a backstage tour there, and it would be about $115, but you can actually propose on the stage. So wow. you can't get more romantic than that. <laughs> That's pretty cool that they'll give you access to do that. They do, yeah. Now, if you're a little bit more adventurous, you can also do the Sydney uh, Harbor Bridge climb. Oh, that's great. Mm. It's really cool. I've done I've that. Done that. You've wow. done it as well. The yep. views are amazing, aren't they? Beautiful. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And so it's about 200 per person to do that or 100 per um, child. So it is family friendly as well. Mm. That's scary. Well, they, you're equipped <laughs> in the entire oh, time, yes. yeah. so it's very safe. Um, we also recommend you check out the beaches while you're in Sydney because wow. they have some beautiful ones. And Bondi um, Iceberg Club is where we recommend you go. It is a swimming club that dates back to 1929. Okay. And you get the feel of the open ocean, but uh, get to swim there mm -hmm. for 650. And it is summertime right there. It is, yeah, so it's the perfect time mm -hmm. for that. And then while you're there, we recommend staying at the Sydney um, Intercontinental Hotel. Beautiful property, oh, views yeah. just yeah. soar over the Opera yeah. House and the Harbor. Oh, and the rates there are gonna start at about 340 a night. Okay. Can't really talk rom coms without talking Hugh Grant, hard to believe oh, that yes. this is the 30th anniversary of four weddings and a funeral. I know, and I have to admit, this is one of my all-time favorites. <laughs> yeah. So I love doing this one. It's filmed all throughout England, London, Essex, Surrey, but really you have to start off in Amersham and head to a little pub called the King's Arms. That served as the exterior for uh, the Lucky Boatman Inn, which is oh. where Charles... Uh, finds Carrie. Now, the interiors are shot at the neighboring property called the Crown Hotel, and you can stay there and actually in the room where they filmed, which is oh, room 101, and the rate's going to start at about 330 a night, mm -hmm. and it will include breakfast. Um, then head to London and head to the um, uh, British Film Institute. Outside of the BFI are the steps where Charles professes his love, quoting oh. David Cassidy <laughs> right there, so it's a fun little spot. And then lastly, head to um, St. Barbara St. Bartholomew the Great, which is this beautiful 12th mm -hmm. century Norman Ooh. church. Um, and it's where the fourth wedding was supposed to take place before yeah. oh, it's called right. Scott, uh, right. yeah. his heart. That's yeah. cute. Love Letters San Francisco. This is actually one I actually saw, Always Be My, may my, my Maybe, mm -hmm. with, yes. with Ali Wong. Yeah, this is a really fun one as well. And San Francisco is really at the heart of it. And so is food, since Ali Wong's character is a chef. So we recommend starting at the heart of the city, Farmer's Market Ooh. in UM Plaza. It's open just twice a, a week. So um, Sunday or Wednesday, be sure to stop in there. And then head to Clement Street, which is often considered San Francisco's second Chinatown. Mm. Um, given dim sum was uh, sort of at the heart of the movie yeah. in that sure. cuisine, it's the perfect place to go for that and for mm. the soup dumplings. And then um, uh, if Maximal is the restaurant that you're looking for, which is where Keanu Reeves was introduced into the movie in that great cameo right. performance, uh -huh. it does not actually exist, but oh. it was built oh. within the Contemporary Jewish Museum. So you can go and mm. see that space, but mm -hmm. sadly the restaurant's not there. Yeah. That's and then lastly, yes. the um, penthouse that was featured in there, which is this beautiful, gorgeous, sprawling space that's welcomed heads of state and celebrities. Well, 
you can head there too, and well, they'll the happily welcome you at the yes. Fairmont San Francisco for $22,000 a night for oh. okay. Or you can stay in a room which will start at 290 dollars Much okay. better. Much a little better. more reasonable. Yes. Thank you, Missy. Missy this is thank, great. You. thank you. We should mention that Missy is a paid employee of Virtuoso, which represents the Intercontinental Sydney and the Fairmont San Francisco. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.